In the middle of Miami's comeback run, follow Jimmy Butler as he'll end up with the perfect opportunity to cut the deficit to only 4 points. Look at this, he is wide open right in front of the basket. But he doesn't want to take this shot. Instead, he dribbles around, gets stuck and forces Lowry to take a much tougher shot with the shot clock expiring. So just seconds later, Trey Young punishes them on the other end as he hits a 3 and the lead goes back up to 9 and Atlanta wouldn't let go of it. Let me show you how Butler in Miami overall literally forgot how to play basketball in a crucial game against the Hawks. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Watch this fast break here as Jimmy is one on one against Murray, goes up to lay it in with no contest whatsoever and misses it. Previously, Butler had another great opportunity. Sure, Collins is there but doesn't really contest the shot. This should be a bucket. And again, the same exact thing. He gets the ball right at the rim and blows a perfect scoring chance. Unbelievable. But what's crazy is that Jimmy had 7 of these bunnies with no real contest that should be an automatic score. 7. And he missed them. That's 14 easy points in a game that they lost by 11. That's the win right there. Thing is, it wasn't just him but pretty much the entire team didn't show up. Right here, Adebayo has deep position on the catch and once again without a contest from the defense we got another miss from short range. Bam also had a few of these and when you add it up it's close to 20 points total that the Heat could have had. Kevin Love was unplayable as he got burned on two straight possessions defensively. Once right here as he tries to trap leaving Okongwu all alone. And again here still like a statue as Johnson easily steps around him and finishes. And on offense he hit the side of the backboard on a wide open shot. So 3 minutes was all that he got in this game. Speaking of the side of the backboard, there's this horrific shot from Gabe Vincent as well. And I gotta call out Caleb Martin who ran around for almost 30 minutes and didn't contribute with a single point. Zero. Miami also got out rebounded 63-39 to and they allowed the Hawks to get 22 offensive rebounds resulting in a ton of second chance points. As much as Atlanta did their thing to win this game, it's Miami's own fault for how they wasted this opportunity at home against an opponent that they've shown that they can consistently beat. They'll have one final shot against the winner of Chicago and Toronto but things are definitely not looking good for the Heat at the moment. Can they squeeze into the playoffs? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. I got one more chance in the play-in. Peace.